Hello. Hi, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo, this is Jimmy Dore. Uh, are we still doing this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, for listeners at home, Mr. Pompeo has agreed to take a truth serum before our phone call. Did you take the truth serum and are you ready? Uh, just took it. <laughs> Tastes like cherries. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Venezuela. Absolutely. Can you tell me about the Trump administration's current approach to the situation in Venezuela? Uh, certainly. Uh, it is the position of the United States government that the people of Venezuela have not been well served by the illegitimate presidency of Mr. Maduro, and that the new interim president has the backing and support of the United States, and hopefully uh, in the days and weeks to come, the international community as well. The interim president? Do you know his name? No, we, we hadn't really heard of him, honestly. Uh, in the past few days and weeks, uh, during public comments, I've mumbled an attempt at his name, uh, I think saying something slightly different each time. Uh, no one noticed. <laughs> it's Guaido. Uh, sure. And why is the U.S. backing him over Maduro, who, who was legitimately elected by the people of Venezuela? I don't know if you saw the footage of uh, Mr. Gogo giving a speech where he uh, declared himself president in front of a crowd and then swore himself in as president of Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but for my own part, I saw that and a tear came to my eye witnessing <laughs> democracy in action in that manner. Democracy in action. Uh, yes, but I should probably clarify uh, by democracy, I mean American democracy and by action. I mean a coup uh, whereby this unknown Yahoo is installed as leader of a foreign country with our backing. <laughs> Whoa, what? <clears throat> wow, this stuff is really kicking in. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, whether uh, by uh, covert CIA action or uh, direct military intervention, I'm not aware at this time, but it should be clear to everybody uh, that what we are looking at uh, is the early pussyfooting steps towards regime change in Venezuela. Uh, Oil-rich country, adversarial socialist government. I mean, quite frankly, this should come as a shock to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, um, I guess this explains the scribbling we saw on John Bolton's legal pad, 5,000 troops to Colombia? Absolutely correct. Uh, many in our armed forces and national security apparatus feel that when these types of operations are undertaken, uh, it behooves us to quote-unquote bundle various interventions. So that is to say, if we are going to intervene in Venezuela, uh, we might as well just go ahead and uh, invade Colombia as well. <laughs> who, who is advising these actions? Well, these policies are informed by research undertaken by any number of private think tanks and military consultants, uh, Heritage Foundation, American Enterprise Institute, uh, Knights of the Golden Circle. <laughs> the, the Knights of what? Uh, the Knights of the Golden Circle, uh, which was a, a secret society in the Confederacy during the Civil War who planned on completing the conquest of Mexico and then Central America, <laughs> Cuba, and Northern South America, thereby making the entire Caribbean basin an empire of black slavery. Uh, interest in this idea was revived several decades ago with the uh, discovery of uh, large oil reserves in Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I thought Donald Trump was going to be a non-interventionist type president. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, I say I'm not going to eat donuts on donut day at the <laughs> office, but then I do. Uh, let's be honest, we uh, simply haven't had a U.S. president who issued interventionist policies in decades, if not a century. It's too enticing, especially when you see that giant map of the world uh, and then throw in a man with absolutely no impulse control. You know, you give me a break. You know, make no mistake about it. We are going to war. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, uh, thanks, Honest Mike Pompeo. Ooh, uh, thanks for taking the truth, sir, and we learned a lot today. Uh, so when does this wear off? I have a, a press conference in about two hours, and I need to lie. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the serum. I'm sorry. I'm afraid it's permanent. <laughs> well, son of a bitch, you got me. <laughs> well, talk to you soon, pal. Okay, bye. Oh, uh, and the aliens are at Wright Air Force Base in Ohio, not at Area 51. Uh, Hillary Clinton tried to have Julian Assange poisoned, and I am having an affair with Kirsten Nielsen, and she's into freaky whipped cream stuff. <laughs> Boy, that serum's really effective. <laughs> We're announcing our live dates for 2019. We're going to Chicago and Portland, Seattle, New York, all over the country. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all our tickets to all our shows. It'll be right underneath there, too. Please become a patron if you like our content and help support the show. You can become a patron for $5 a month, and we give you hours of bonus material. And make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I'm not kidding. Make sure you're subscribed and click that bell so they give you a notice when we drop a video. It's the only thing we can do to fight back against the bastards. Thanks for your support.